Good evening. This is Wade Watson here to bring you your weekly Roundup Rodeo, the show where I tell you all about this past week's dealings and give you the lowdown on what you might have missed. This is Volt News Network. In the beginning of the week, we saw the developing conflict in Armenia, with an exodus of 100,000 people being displaced from their homes. We then saw more developments in the Kosovo situation. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was voted out of the House in a historic first. Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty in a felony case. Donald Trump's civil fraud trial went underway, and some quick camera footage showed some courtroom drama. The United Nations planned to send forces to Haiti for their ongoing gang situation, and Trump was barred from speaking about his trial after he sent a truth detailing the alleged relationship between the Senate Majority Leader and a clerk in his case. The highly anticipated trial of the crypto FTX platform and its CEO, SBF, got underway. We saw Canadian wildfire smoke reach Florida somehow, and healthcare workers in California went on strike. The UAW strike is ongoing, however the union claims progress in their efforts. Some Republicans floated the idea of Trump as Speaker of the House. Rudy Giuliani filed suit against President Joe Biden, and a Newsweek article came out that claimed that the FBI is targeting Trump supporters. A warning was issued over fake semaglutide injectors hitting the market, and Biden began building a border wall he claimed he was against. Japan announced a breakthrough in their development of quantum computers. Chicken and gas prices reached record highs this week, and the United States shot down a Turkish drone. Hillary Clinton said that Trump supporters need to be re-educated and deprogrammed regarding their support for Trump. The Nobel Peace Prize was awarded. Trump won an appeal that will be a big factor in his trial moving forward. Google revealed their OpenX robotics database, and OpenAI considered the idea of getting into the chip game. And finally, Israel was attacked from all sides as a major conflict begins in the region. Multiple outlets are calling it the beginning of a war, with major nation-states celebrating the attacks, and many nations condemning them. All we can do is hope for peace in this situation. These are the stories that shook the world this past week. We hope you learn a thing or two by watching this here Volt News, and we hope you have a great week. Stay tuned. Good night.